How's it going you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've all been doing well. I get a new tune for a new car. It's for the Ronin GT. One of the two new cars that came out in the most recent update for Car X. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new cars and what other cars you think Car X should drop next. If you guys want to join up on the Discord, there will be a link in the description below. And if you want to let me know on which cars you want to see tuned or retuned, let me know in the comments. So let's get right into the setup. I got the ultimate mod on, no engine swaps. For the body kits, I just got a stock kit and then I just swapped out parts and uh, kind of just made it how I like it. If you guys want to slap a kit on there, you can definitely do that. We're going to head into the dyno stand and then I will, guy, I will show you guys the code at the end. It should hopefully work, but if not, I'm going to give you the numbers right here so you can just punch these in. We'll start with the suspension first. So you can go ahead, punch these numbers in, test it out, see how you like it. If you want to make some changes, you can definitely do that. You know, I kind of have my car set up a certain way, but what works for me may not work for you. So if you want to just uh, try something new, feel free to do that. You can use my uh, numbers here as like a bass tune basically and then just tweak it from there if you need to. Head over to the wheels. I do have a 90s adhesion on but you can put this to hundreds if you want. If you guys have used my tunes in the past, they are pretty universal so you can swap hundreds or 90s and then maybe you may have to do some minor adjustments. But uh, my tunes pretty much work on any adhesion, really, honestly. Over to the engine. I'm running 480 horsepower. Because this is a 90s build, I try to keep it kind of under 500, you know, a little bit slower. But again, if you want to increase that, if you want to go faster, by all means, go ahead. Get these numbers up. we got the transmission here. You could pretty much rip gear 1, 2, 3, 4, pretty much all the gears. I would say the sweet spot probably is between gear 2 and 3 for this particular setup here. So that's it for the dyno. I'm going to head over to the workshop. I just published the tune. So you're going to be looking for Butter 90s. And the code is right there in the bottom right. It's 8238082588836. And like I said before, if the tune doesn't work, then you're just going to have to go back, pause the video, and punch those numbers in manually. Like the good old days. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I'm going to go into a lobby. You know, we're going to test this tune out so you guys can just see firsthand just how it is. So we got a, quite a few lobbies up. We're just going to jump into maybe this one. 12 out of 16. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a test run. Show you guys kind of like how this tune works. And if you got any uh, ideas or whatever, leave comments at the bottom of this video. And I'll be sure to read. And as you can see, we're already getting into a nice drift here. This car can get some really nice angle. It likes to get wide. It likes to, you know, scrape those white lines a little bit, you know. So we're going to see what's up over here at gas station. Just going to bring it in a little bit. Try to set myself up for a 270 here. Ooh. Oh, God. It would have been clean. It would have been clean. So they're already taken off. So we're just going to go ahead and just chase run. I don't know how these people are going to be drifting. So I'm just going to try to catch whoever's door I can. This guy's already spinning. He's done for. Going to drop down a second gear a little bit. And then we're just going to try to stay glued on to uh, this person's door really. We got the F40, the other new car. I'll be dropping a video for that car soon. We got a major collision here. We're just going to drive through it. 
like nothing even happened. And we're going to try to catch the F-40's door here. What do you guys think of the new, uh, like the paint? Like as you can see this Ferrari here, it's got the, I believe it's the forged paint. They got carbon, I got a little bit of carbon paint on, on the, this car just to try it out. Let me know what you guys think of it. Oh no, oh I kind of bumped them a little bit. Might be going for a little solo run here. I don't know what happened to everybody else. Gonna go for a little 270, nice and smooth. F40 gonna get back in the lead here. I'm not sure how much horsepower this guy's running, but I'm gonna try to do my best here. Oh, kind of overtook. I thought he was definitely gonna be crashing out for sure. I'm not sure if anybody else is going to want to do a run. I don't know if I want to do another run with that guy. I'm not going to lie. Anybody else going to show up? Maybe I could lead one. Or I might just see. Let's see. Let me try to follow the, this guy. Let's go for one more run. He's going off-road, so we're not even going to attempt that. Looks like I might be leading for this next run, boys. Now I'm going to try to keep a steady pace here. I do like this car, I'm not going to lie. I've been using it for the last couple days now. I hope they drop more kind of like JDM cars and stuff, like actual drift cars. Like, you know, the, Ferrar the Ferrari was cool and all, but I feel like we need more like actual drift cars, you know? Like, are you actually going to see somebody drift in an F40? Uh, highly unlikely. I'm sure somebody has, but come on now. We need more drift cars, drift missiles, whatever. But what we really need, we need the we need the modern maps. I know uh, they've been talking about it, and I really hope it drops soon. Because you know, I've been drifting on Red Rock and a few other maps for like years now, and it's like we need we need a change here. We need the new uh, scenery, new maps, new courses, whatever. Because this game's getting kind of dry right now, I'm not going to lie. This guy's doing a pretty good job, you know, staying with me, trying to stay on my door. I'm making sure not to go too fast either. He did reset, but I've noticed lately actually, like when people reset, their car doesn't actually like go transparent. Like you still get hit. So I don't know what the hell happened in this last update that completely ruined the reset. So hopefully Car X gets on that because that's crazy. You're gonna have somebody reset and you're still gonna smash into them. Oh, 
that was smooth. So I'm just going to end the run there. You guys see that this car is pretty smooth. It gets the angles. It can chase. It can lead. It can do pretty much everything you want. And look, there's another one right there. So that's going to be it for this one. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good time drifting. Peace.